what is up guys welcome back to the channel we are back had a little bit of a busy weekend so it's been a couple days without a video so i knew coming back i'd have to have something spicy for you guys today we're gonna be playing elise poppy ironically enough a few people have requested decks on my stream trying out their elise poppy and trying to see if i can refine it and help them out to like make this archetype a thing and i never had any luck but i was just browsing mobilytics you know looking at the decks with some high win rates and looking for anything spicy i could potentially get my hands on and this deck had like a very high win rate obviously smaller sample size it's like going to be like a little extreme with decks like these because once like the whole pool of players get normally floating around 50 to 60 range but this one had a fire win rate so i had to give it a try and i gotta say i just added to that win rate myself because we did very well with the deck for uh today and i'm very excited to share the games with you guys um also since it has been a few days as well it's like i give you guys a longer video so we got a couple more games tagged on there on the end but, but yeah enough uh talking about that let's get to the deck list so the main idea is obviously poppy um helping to buff a wide board is very strong and having a bunch of cheap ways to go wide and take advantage of that is very strong and then as well as having some nice tricks from shadow isles is uh, a huge difference maker so we run hapless aristocrat which is great because you can block it and you still retain the unit which retaining the unit is huge going into your poppy turn so it's something that you don't lose the net unit and you um have it to just like deal with things like chump blocking a zed dealing with some two one one drops it's very strong in the deck for sure we also run three copies of group shot because with us going very wide a lot of the times having a one mana deal to is huge and we also have pokey stick and vile feast to finish them off if that doesn't do the job and then with these smaller units that we're generally running such as the hapless or the spiderling that elise creates even loping telescope and some other cards of that nature black spear as a three of is great removal three mana deal four is so hard for anybody to really stop like main ways you really see somebody able to stop that from going through is like twin disciplines even uh sharp sight a lot of the times isn't enough to do that and then we have a lot of cheeky one ofs in this deck we have a one of of prankster a one of of neverglade collector and both of those both just add to the fact that we have kind of like smaller units and making it so like they can confirm some damage as they go out is very strong and then neverglade with the healing can very well like flip some positions and then we also have another one of of yordle in arms which if you're able to get the effect from the yordle in arms to make it a plus four plus four with like a lot of games you're gonna have a really wide board it is insane but even as a plus two plus two it's still a threat especially on again just like a wide board you can really just cast a lot of pressure and the poppies on the board that will only add to it essentially making it like a pseudo plus three plus three in a way and then we have a one of of harrowing i will be honest i was not completely wild with the harrowing but i'm gonna give it to you guys because that is the version of the deck i was running um it felt a little bit low impact i could see it doing some damage with like prankster collector but if you don't have that it it feels like something i'd potentially cut from the deck but um still still you know a small grievance if anything then we also have the bandle city mayor which helps you curve into like a bunch of telescopes for one mana the poppy will get reduced to three mana you also create cards as well which you'll get the reduction on as well and then tenor of terror playing that for three mana just adding to the whole effect of getting that wide board and just pushing as much damage as possible is very strong i'm sure you guys are all familiar and maybe even fed up with the bandle city mayor this is a classic example of uh making a deck better you just throw poppy in and all of a sudden you're competitive that's what it feels like but with some nice fun tricks and it's like pretty fresh uh we also have glimpse beyond which is just like such a good way to replenish your hand and again it's everything's really like taking advantage of like the spider links and that synergy and like punishing your opponents as hard as possible for it which i'm like really loving i'm, I'm definitely a fan of this deck um and it definitely competed against like the other different poppy variants so uh highly recommend you guys give this one a try very excited to share the games with you guys today again i did well <laughs> i did well with the session so happy to share that and i will also say there might be a loss in here i don't think it should have happened <laughs> i think we should have been all right but uh with that being said 
If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, would appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Uh, but that's all I got for today. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Appreciate you guys. Peace out. Okay. Apple seems pretty good in this matchup. Black Spear seems pretty great. Violet can be good. Honestly, I think this is a good enough hand to keep. Mayor obviously can value later on, but the hapless and the black spear seems um most hype about here. Lady Elise, where are you? Just open one. Try to take this out. If he uses a buff on it, that's completely fine. And if he saves up mana next round for like Zed protection, unless it's twins, Black Spear will clear up. It very well could be twins, but it'll be worth if not. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Do not deny me. Please, I have connections! <laughs> All right, so I would take that as information that he has sharp sight in hand, but not twins. And we'll try to use that to our advantage. We'll try to pick up a strong spell from this if we could. Uh, this could be good later on when he starts to run out of cards. I think it's actually the best option there. I could have opened for like two, but I feel like most of the time he's not going to want to trade down with my board anyways. He knows I have some like control cards and I just picked up something from Conch. I, I figured he wouldn't pop for that. That egg. Did it move? All right, team. Adventure time. Bear into telescope for cheap seems pretty good. We could trade some of these spiders. Honestly, I don't even think I need to take damage because like I have such a good redevelopment with hapless telescope terror. And we're completely fine. Even just terror, actually. He has a rally this round. He can't really do anything about that. These kinds of players, I think they're just greedy and he doesn't have <laughs> rally. So we're just going to use that information to our advantage. See how he reacts to this. These are two units he just values highly, right? So I'm just kind of using that to my advantage to like make him feel like he needs to take the damage to play around things like I already showed a black spear I already showed a vile feast and exactly like developing would just make him put a unit out that like cares more about I mean less about excuse me I think this hapless is another blocker would be pretty good hmm. go for the discard here I feel like it's it's fine at this point. He played a couple cheap units. All right, we got a Rangers. That's pretty shitty hit. My shield is yours. Hmm. Obviously, our heroines <laughs> fairly weak, but well. Is key. Another mayor and see if we can get some cool units. Ooh, this This is hot. That actually can just win us the game. Especially with uh I just put the tenor down, I play the Furious Fae Folk, and the interaction that he has in the deck. Be good. There's no way he's just banking for a rally. So th this is, yeah, this is a wrap. I see literally, oh, second poppy could send that back. 
and then we, we gotta work for it. I'm a hero. Hapless, very, very good this game. Did a lot for us. I don't know if he hasn't realized it or not yet, but impact is just too much for him. <laughs> he can block as much as he wants. Buddy, you check out, check out the eye. Exactly. That's a, that was a good way to start the session. Beating this matchup, which I mean, if anything, I would think like this is the OG and we'd be down in the head to head, but here, here we are. I'll take it. Okay, Tom Rocca. I mean, if we have Poppy's huge here, yes. Um, Tom Kench might be a problem, but Vile I think is horrible. Telescope's fine, but the Black Spear can probably catch him off guard on the round where he goes for our Poppy. It's pretty huge for us. We're probably gonna have to like open attack that round anyways. We should just open attack here. That's yeah, simple. See how this goes. Crescent Strike's probably pretty good. Um, I could also take the Shadow Seer, but honestly, actually, I think the Shadow Seer. It's just gonna be like damage that he can't really like stop as much, you know. Yordle in arms is spicy. If I attack with this and then play Poppy, it'll already be online. I don't think I need to rush getting it online like that, though. More Ionia. Very interesting to see a Sunhawk in the deck at all, even. But it seems kind of pointless to play it there. It's all good. I'd say that's something I'd consider a little bit of a grief in the deck build. <laughs> but whatever. I think I'm just going to go Mayor for now. Hmm. Proto Poro into developing straight into Poppy. I could also take this for two. Most of the time, he's just going to end up killing it, and I think the impact is actually going to be like the best option. Pablo's been down. Let his knee out. I think I like the Yordle in arms more than the Poppy here. Get some like big time pressure on the board. He has another Sunhawk. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen there. We lose our Ephemeral. Completely fine. This can go for, I guess, this uh, oh, Boxtopus is the best call. Wow, he's down to go down to two. Bro, <laughs> you better have a lot of healing because <laughs> that is crazy to me. Actually insane. I mean, we do have this poppy and it is gonna start to do some stuff for us, okay? Some healing was in store. I was trying to think if I ever like enable the black spear, but I think it's fine. All right, team, adventure time. That's not a unit. <laughs> All right, I feel fine about this attack. Where are we going? Let's grab this, buff everything. Go no further. 
Yeah, that's overkill by a good margin. All right. 2-0 in games. I'll take it. This is this is rolling well. I thought Poppy would be big there. The fact he showed me this, the Sunhawk did give me some good intel as well, which was nice. Okay. We were playing against Puff Cap Trap Deck. I think Group Shot definitely good against Teemo on one. I don't think I need to keep harrowing. Telescope and Poppy also look like good keeps here. File, another just good ping removal. I'm down. Go ahead and say no to that. <laughs> Part of me wants to pass here, but I think I'm going to end up just going for the telescope. No and me. We'll take this since we have the mayor and we can maybe get it out for two mana. It's not like insane, but I feel like it seemed like one of the better options. I don't think I'd ever play out that move flow. I feel like it's just too like tempo negative, right? Mm, I think I'm gonna play Elise here just because Elise can block the pup cap up. If he has like a group shot of his own, that's fine. I feel like it doesn't make sense in this deck list for the most part. We'll do this. He could now like hit it with the puff cap dart. Which I don't. So young. Could open. I almost feel like just playing a king pen straight up is like a better option than some of my other lines in some ways. The other part of me. Yeah, I I think it's actually wrong play poppy here like i think i want to wait till i have like a wider board that can take advantage of it this is whack but i'll take the sled it says impact we're gonna attack bolt here exactly i have a ping to remove this so i just want to push the damage I'm not really sweating the discount i feel Strings annoying, but the sled to block it, very good. Yeah, so I think I'll try to clear it with the other dart when I block. Completely fine with me. Three five is such an insane stat line. It's actually nuts. Like when I think about it, that card is madness. I'm gonna open with this, so it leaves my uh, uh, lines open of either Poppy or the Kingpin. I could even Shroud of Darkness if I like really want to protect it. I don't know what that'd do. For the most part, a Mark of the Isles is kind of cute. I'm gonna go Mark. Mark's more flexible. Yeah, this will just make my other units just like way more threats to these peddlers. Oh my god. I love when they do that. <laughs> I love when they do that. Okay. That's going to make so much easier because now I have like a lot of different Google options. Well. Uh, with the mark, I'll be able to block that. I think I'll just play Prankster because it'll get me some chip damage when I do trade into this. So he wants to play Teemo like after leveled, obviously. We're just gonna. I could vile pokey. I think I like the most. I'm gonna use the vile now. I might make him not want to block with three five. Unless I just get like a little bit of healing. Where 
I didn't want to do those on the stack, right? Because I didn't want for... Uh... Him to just replay a third Teemo if he had it. It's not likely, but if it is the case. And now I have the group shot if he has, like, Purple Berry Shake for some reason. Oof. Yeah. I guess the draw <laughs> might have been the bad call in that way. Other way, though. Seems fine. A little bit worried about Karina. I completely <laughs> disregarded the amount of puff caps I had in the deck, and Four's a lot. Now I'm feeling a little scared. So I'm gonna like look if we open. If we open, he blocks here, he blocks here. Neither of the units die. And these deal three, so that's not enough. I think I go with the impact line and just hope he doesn't have a way to kill me, which would be really Karina. And it'd have to hit pretty well, I'd say, with the I amount of. Puff caps we have in the deck. So that's five. We still have six health, and this should be good. Yeah, hindsight group shot is definitely better. So two, even if I drew... Yeah, I mean, we, we always should be good here. Because I'm gonna pull like five max. They'd all have to be on like the first two cards. That's the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm playing the long game. Boy. All right, Elise looks good. Maybe not Telescope, because it just gets hit by Vile. I need some blockers, though. Let me do this. See what we got. Group shot's pretty nasty at the moment. Also just makes our open attack good, right? And then we'll develop Mare after combat. <laughs> I don't have any good emotes. Well. <laughs> Funny. The 1-1 one, one just blocks that perfectly. I think I like a Loof, right, to hit one of his champs, potentially, like Hecarim. There you are. Yeah, I could... I'm still gonna just, like, develop into this we play right it. now. Yay. But our stuff did it. Okay, got a Harrowing. Pop end out the window. Sure. <laughs> sure, dude. That's what I figured. That's why I didn't want to play the second of these and try to go for like the level up. I think it just never mattered. We have our own harrowing now. Uh, I'm gonna play another mayor. Probably, I'll try to go for double telescope. A lot of good options for that. Probably a black spear setup, I would guess. I don't know for sure. Could just be bricked hand trying to save it, salvage. We're nowhere near. Can we ever get close to that? I don't think so. <laughs> Be very funny, though. Riptide will be hilarious as well. 
do I have to? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get one damage? Not worth. Not worth, unfortunately. At least not until Prankster's down. Could be Ruination. I never care. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Now that I like have a way to respond to it, I kinda of too. Block that with the spider, and then I'll vile this and just get rid of another blocker. Nah, his drain. Oh, Nopeify, <laughs> what a lame card. All right. I still do want this trickster down. Fine. I see every move. All right, we trade these units. I get three damage. That'll work for me. I'm gonna play the Elise to just get another body Come down. Closer. And then I wanna keep Vile. And we'll see if anything dies for on our side this round, we can Riptide, which is gonna be like obviously nasty. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> shit. Alright. Too much pressure. Let's go. That wasn't so Alright, in this matchup, I th Black Spear could be decent, right? But I think I want to try to find, like, Hapless and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. That just blocks Super Fire on one. Yordle and Arms can be very huge in this matchup. We have like pretty much all Shadow Owls though at the moment. I could have maybe group shot this, but I think the Hapless is even better. In position. Please, I have connections. Damn it. And we'll try to develop the wide board so we can maybe get two damage off of this. Which we can, if he doesn't kill the spiders, which he probably does. The Contrologist can get that. So I attack with this because if he wants to block, there'll be another spider anyways. Guarantees that we push at least three. That's that's going to be really nice again because Contrologist with the one mana will be able to take out a two health unit if he plays one. Oh, purple Berry is pretty funny. I almost want to try to level the elites, though. No. I think the otter's actually better because of the yordle in arms. But I think about it. Easy does it. We'll just kill this. I can't wait to see what this one does. 
And I think once again, we're going to open and try to push three damage. Try to chip him in range of our Yordle in arms. I could also play... Enter. I guess that's not activated, so never mind. Quite a waste of time. Now with the second or third at least, I could definitely go for the level up play. And everything having fearsome with Yordle in arms is going to be actually like insane, right? I'm going to open with the trinket trade to maybe like catch him off guard in case he does have a way to interact with us. He probably wants to develop units more than anything at first. Also, being able to prank some of the stuff in his hand is going to be nice as well. A guaranteed level. Nest, hatch, feed. Prank. Minus two health doesn't matter. I think just making fervor expensive is... It's decent. It's not even that great because we're at a point where the mana's not mattering as much. It does matter this round. Never mind. It, it matters a lot. Beauty. It completely makes it like impossible for him to do it this round. Goes lecturing. Really don't care. Where was I? He only has one dart, so I'll open with this because I don't want him to hit my impact unit. He'll hit one of these spiders. He should at least. He could go face potentially as well. And I think we still go for this even though it's just a plus two. Plus two, plus two on this board is going to be really strong. <laughs> strong enough to make him hit the surrender button. I don't know if he checked that it's not 4-4. Four, four, because <laughs> he might have just respected that fact, even though we were only two regions down, which is really funny. Okay, we have deep. Um, I don't think I need these, like, removals. Honestly, I'll keep one telescope, but I think that's it. It's up to my boy. Found Poppy, that's pretty big. Um, he could have removal for it, which is fine if he does. Because most of his removal in this matchup is going to be pretty expensive. We'll try to get the one chip damage. I do want to just develop like a nice curve so that when I do drop Poppy, it's pretty substantial. Chip damage, cannot complain. Also good into his 2-1 if he had it. Yeah, we're going to develop files, whatever. Uh, Fixer? Fixer, <laughs> yeah. Fixer sounds like a good time. The vial we, again we kind of figured he have ha, would have had it but it's whatever he's gonna hold it forever and forcing it out on a two one that really has no impact <laughs> fine pass uh trickster pushes more damage i mean this goes a little bit wider which actually might have made it better for poppy goes for some bra right there We'll try to push the extra one damage because if we can trade a oh my god i almost swung without swinging with the three three but if he's uh he loses one blocker on that that's pretty good he knows that and we just get one more damage for it i could go kind of wide mayor wide is a thing for sure i have to be careful of jaw hunters so i don't think i ever play poppy this turn because poppy die Mayor is the kind of thing, though, he still might grab with the draw hunter. Get the mayor out. Play a one-mana telescope, because we'll get to play in response. And that'll be pretty nasty. Could play a lease, too, but... Uh, lease is fine. Back, I think, for the most part. And if this mayor does somehow live until the next round... Um, I can have Poppy into a lease... 
This thing can push some damage, but for seven mana, technically, let's go. Completely fine. Crescent's cute. Snapvine's dumb. Tenor's. Missing option. Take a ten. So I think we're going to end up opening with the telescope, actually, just to see if he has a response. Now it's poppy time and we can develop a charger. He has a way to kill this here. He could potentially wail at this point, but we get another unit back from the hapless and then the charger is like a nice redevelop, right? So we made him lose a blocker. And all of this can just go in. Fading's interesting. So this would be the block, right? Swing with both of these and he'd go block, block. I pushed three more damage. I think I'm greeting if I don't swing all. Like, I don't need the discount at all. Yeah, I'm just pushing him to nine. That's way better. Especially since we have like tenor and poppy. Like, in hand, obviously not in the same round. Like, I could, I have some like different ways to mix this up. I think it's probably a lease poppy, something like that. That's a four mana do nothing at a time where <laughs> I really like that he did a four mana do nothing. Okay. It's not like lure either where he gets a discount. So it's, it's I, I have to be cautious of uh, jaw hunters idea. here. That's pretty cute to get another unit out off the copy. I must get out of here. Anyways, fine. Is the positioning what's killing him here? I don't think so. All right, easy game. Too much pressure with Poppy. Loved it. Loved it. I knew Poppy would be big for us in that matchup. In fact, we had two. And he could not. That was fire. On to the next one. Mm hmm Okay. We have Shen Zed, which is a very interesting take to take out the Poppy of this deck. Or if it's something at least similar to it. I think we're going to keep Conch, lose Harrowing and Tenor, and keep Poppy. And just never go wrong with Poppy is what I'm learning. <laughs> Even if it gets removed, it's just so... The upside is too much. Alright, we'll develop Conchologist. We also have a group shot available to us. Potentially ping something. What's better here? This is like interaction. It's either that or the fading. I think I just take the unspeakable. discoveries await below? Okay, so he's gonna go into this next round with full mana. I'm gonna go mayor, especially he doesn't have like many units. I think I go telescope, so I could potentially telescope Poppy. It's fine. You can enjoy that one damage.
could lead with this. If he kills it, we can just go conch as like the plan B. Don't really have three drops other than the pseudo poppy. Um, I think I'd take the equinox. Of what I see here. Hmm. Group shot active, ready to go. That's very funny. So I think I'm going to use the Equinox here because I don't want it to keep its effect. It'll go down to a 1-2 now. And now it's just a horrible blocker. To the world below. We push forward. He doesn't go off for our mayor. For sure good. We made him use a million mana there. I am the so he goes Zed, right? I think I'm going to go Hapless to just block. And then I'll have Black Spear available to me. Only the worthy survive. Can even go the group shot line, which seems pretty funny. Develop a little bit more. Yeah, I think crawling sensations is not too bad. I want to develop this first, right? Because if he takes out one of my units, this would just go down to one damage, and this will make it go to like two no matter what. Completely fine. So he heals that up. He is what it is. We'll have six mana here, so I can overplay one of the spiders for Poppy. All right, team. And then we'll still have Black Spear if he somehow manages to kill this. He should do now because like things get real dangerous for him. He's letting us get the strike off. Fire. <laughs> Fire. I honestly feel like that just makes us win the game. Disappoint me. If he's going down to one, unspeakable is actually burn. In a way. Like he could play like Radiant Guardian or something here. But then at one mana, he's got nothing. You fool! Didn't play around the conchologist. Unspeakable horror. Come on, dude. That was day one. <laughs> Alright. That's that's fire when you have something like they never expect you to main deck. They just get wiped as fire. <laughs> Let them know. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. I told you guys we did well. I don't know what that was, like 7 and 1. It felt like something like that. Uh, fire win rate. No complaints here. And, you know, like all the different Shadow Isle stuff is so strong. I've been loving Black Spear. I forget what deck I was using that plays Black Spear, but... I was playing another deck where I was trying to utilize Black Spear, and it's such strong removal. It is so good, and one of like a reason enough to like make this region combo happen. Bile Feast, I definitely think is like one of the best cards in the game, as well as Glimpse. They're both just completely premier cards, and they just add added a lot in the games for sure. Yordles and Arms came in hot. That was pretty sick, as well. And then Elise, the Fearsome. Uh, pretty huge and you actually have a pretty decent shot of leveling her in this deck i realized which i mean obviously with the level up with poppy and you just get like the two twos and stuff which i know you guys saw in one of the games is like so good it's so good i'm, I'm like gonna come back to this deck for sure because like i said i pulled it and it had like a very small sample size but a fire win rate and i was like i'm intrigued let's, let's see what you got here um but yeah again hopefully you guys enjoyed that video leave a comment if you made it the, this far i'm always curious to see who's the, the people that gun it out till the end of the videos um but yeah appreciate you guys as always i once again had a lot of fun so hopefully you guys did as well but until next time peace out everybody